You are tuned into the sound of the hybrid MP, the triple six beat, the pump fishes, aka bleed easy, represent sabotage audio. <laughs> Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Fuck That's Loud. Punk's Another Fish episode. Punk's, yeah, I'm not, my name's Punk's Fish, it's a.k.a. Benny Burrito. Sorry, I didn't mean to say a name for you. Who are you? My name's Triple Six Steve. You've got Triple Six Steve over there. Yeah, You've got Hybrid MP coming. over there. How you doing, man? Yeah, I'm all good. I'm um, good. And I'm Hybrid MP. <laughs> <laughs> I would have said that. And then, uh, yeah. How's everybody? Uh, how's the week's been? No. Ah. Oh no, we can do that now because yeah, it's getting a bit more exciting. I know. Starting to get, starting to feel like how's reality our week's again. Been? How's the week's been? Um, my week's been all right to be fair. Fucking, again, usually the same as every other week working, but I've recently picked up a second job, labouring for my mate Tom. So I'm getting my hands dirty. Yeah, man. Doing a real, well. real man's job. I feel like I've just there's just been a complete change in atmosphere recently due to weather and yeah. everything and just like I feel like this week like I've right. just suddenly come out and be like oh my god I feel great yeah and it's good yeah so, it's just the world opening up a bit more yeah, isn't it? yeah so, I think so it's man. definitely been a better week than the the previous sort of weeks one negative traffic getting oh here today. my god you fucking know Tell I know me about it. literally coming here today fuck me Took you me think twice the, you as think long the as lockdowns you lifted the amount of cars on the street well, out there bloody, Mike we bloody would as well nobody wearing masks anymore around about all sorts. it's gone isn't it it's just gone yeah but, man yeah. yeah right so uh yeah, that's the I'm introduction. Fine, thank so you. this week we're going straight in with. Uh, with <laughs> oh, you can't talk. To, you can't talk to the guests. I'm before. not talking to him. I, I wasn't. I wasn't. Yeah, that's sorry. All right. We can we can let that out. That's the first and last time. That's allowed because we've got a very very special guest. There's in another today. voice yeah, in the that's room. Very true. That's very, very true. Very 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 special. So guest. so we're going straight in with Big Rusty Joe's bites this week, aren't we? None of us have heard these bites. No. Look at this when we get our friend Joe to slow down. Uh, uh, the like a snippet from our previous episode. So yeah, anyway, nice. Right, Do you want to so, take it away? Let's um, hear it. I'm going to start with this one. Uh, we asked people to get in touch with us uh, with any questions that they had. Uh, just to just, just to sort of engage with the podcast <laughs> a little bit more, you know. Get involved with the show. Uh, speak to us. And... and <laughs> <laughs> there hasn't well, been many of you dead, actually, has there? Oh, sorry. There hasn't been many of no, you. No, there hasn't. Ozzy Osbourne. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah man. That's a while ago now, to be fair. It seems like it. Right. But, but uh, that was a very good one. He, he just has a good selection yeah. of which yeah. parts to pick. He's got and a good ear, does Joe. it down to two good ones. So, right, right, so this is the second two. one. <laughs> that bush over there looks a bit spiky. Yeah, let's fucking go. Shut up, me streak. Let's go give ourselves a damage. Listen, Joe, get back to work. <laughs> <laughs> that was my little shout oh, out. Yeah, chuckle afterwards. Uh, yeah, so that's listening, Joe. You gave him an actual shout out in the sh- in his. In I'm his not telling you to get back to work this time. Have a break. Have a break this time, but you deserve it. We're all thinking about <laughs> you at work, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> Spraying them tanks and things. Oh. And whatever else. Right, so that's the end of Joe's rusty. Is that, is that it? There's only two. Yeah, yeah. we only we only we put only two in the show, don't yeah. we? Oh, okay, cool, yeah. cool. Um, so that's that. Now we're moving. S- well, moving swiftly on. Oh, catchphrase! Uh, uh, catchphrase uh, to disconnect festival. So basically, this one thing that you'll probably have been seeing flying around our Instagrams and stuff, uh, if you've been following the sabotage cult. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and we've basically got a stage there, <coughs> which is going to be sick. And we've got our favourite band. Well, my favourite band. That's ever. one of my favourite bands. Yeah, yeah we're in the people, my top man. five favourite bands. And also, we've got one of the sickest UK hip hop acts coming out at the moment. They've just been voted the fucking best album of 2020 well, by they? Babylon Dead. Yeah. Oh, have they? Yeah, by Wordplay Magazine. Ooh, shit. So, oh, shit. so, so that's a big, off. big, big UK hip hop presence in the festival. But you, have, you, have, you, have, you just, have you just dropped that hint before we put that on the lineup? No, it's on the lineup. Oh, is it on the lineup? Yeah, yeah, is it? Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. okay. Yeah, it's been announced. It's all good. It's all, it's all on there. So, um, um, and then we've got uh, Scuff, another UK hip hop legend, supported mm. us since the start. Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, big up to him. Um, and then. We've got uh, Strawberry Lace, who are fucking sick. Yeah, and actually, this early those. in the show, I might not fucking. Should we play some Strawberry Lace? Yeah, yeah, we, yeah, yeah. We're we'll, we'll stick it on, bro. Yeah, Lace right. This is Jungle. Which this is Jungle by Strawberry Lace.
time to feel like myself Keep it up the start, I'm getting sick of acting juvenile Stuck here when I'd rather be somewhere else So yeah, big up Strawberry try, Lace. Man. They are fucking awesome. I said uh, pretty sick. They're very, very, they're very, fucking very, very sick. sick. So that's Strawberry Lace. Then uh, also Gecko Club, who I've mentioned on the show in the past oh, yeah. uh, about where well, it was one of my new old on hers. Actually, it was my first ever one on the show. Uh, so we booked uh, we out. booked them to come down as well. Uh, another amazing artist called Ralph Taylor. He's got some fucking banging tunes. Check him out. He's like sort of they're they're all these they're all just sort of like indie bands. These ones I've been naming, but they're like mm. they've got something really cool about them. They're mm. not sort of like your average. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? It's they're they're decent. They match Sorry. our aesthetic. Yeah, exactly. They match, our, the, they match the sabotage twist. It's all in the description. Course. All of these bands and stuff. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Won't they? So check yeah, them yeah, out, guys. Check them all out in the bio. Yeah. Yeah. And then um, uh, who else is on there? Uh, Stretch Soul Gang who are also incredible. Yeah, uh, like sort of funky. I've played them in the past. Also played, uh, picked them from my new old and heard. Nice. Uh, I'm, pretty sure we, we play, I'm pretty sure I played with Stretch, uh, played with stretch Roll Gang. Is it Stretch Roll? You stretch did, Roll really? Gang. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I did. Oh, right. I can't remember where. It might I don't, have been when, don't you'd left. Might have been when you'd left the Varsity. I can't remember. Yeah. But I, I definitely remember playing with them somewhere. Really? I, I can't be wrong though. I definitely didn't play with them. Uh, Buds. Max Buds. Judd. Uh, Just Edward. Yep. Shout Big up with Just Edward boys. Also, boys. they've been on the podcast, obviously. And then Big yeah, Smash yeah. Showcase, which is Rhetoric, Tyler, and Lamb Chop. I'm really looking forward to seeing them live, actually. Yeah, man. It's going to be the last time their first we... ever, like, well, well, as far as I'm aware, it's their first festival appearance, I think. Yeah, um, I think possibly first festival appearance, but the last time we saw them was when we did that night at 2648. Oh, I think it'll be nice to see them in a yeah, proper man. live environment where everything's kitted out for live. And also, Rhetoric has got a bunch of new tunes out that yeah. are fucking smashing. Oh, he's, got what, a, he's got a brand new EP mate. out. That's, that's, that. that's pretty Big sick. Tune. And I actually did ran, randomly had a, a, ran into him the other day in a little fucking catch up with a bunch of other people. So he might be coming through soon, but we'll see how we'll see how that goes. Oh, very nice, very nice. We'll see how that goes. See what the future holds. Yeah, yeah. Um, so um, that else, that's new. Uh, we've also got. Well, we're starting Psycho. shooting a new video next no, week. Psycho. Who oh yeah, it? shit. Yeah, Psycho. Yeah, Psycho. Yeah, I've got a new track coming out at the end of the month on the thirty first of April. Thirty first. Thirtieth of April. Oh my god! <laughs> Again! <laughs> Don't shout like that, Nigel. On the thirty. <laughs> Clipping the desk it's already. I was looking at the person who corrected me, who actually happens to be our guest as well. That's, uh, for fuck's sake. Yeah, that's coming out on the 30th of April. It's finally wrapped up. We've got the final version of the video come through. It's all colour graded. It looks amazing. Literally, Harvey Bourne and Big Rusty Joe's actually in this video. They've all done a smashing job. Yeah, at least, honestly. It's Absolutely pro- smashing it, job. It's one of the best... Well, it's, I'd say definitely up there with one of the best videos we've had out. Videos, time. yes. Videos on be- best of, best videos. Tr- I'm not going to start disrespecting the track before it comes out. Wait till I after this hour so I can nitpick up, nitpick up my own track. <laughs> Wait till no, after. No, honestly, it is next level yeah. with you. And you did yeah, said you man. didn't even like it. I don't mind. I, I was having this conversation with our guest earlier. I'll save this to when we talk to our guest as well. Fucking hell. But yeah, <laughs> I, I am actually really excited for it to come out because it, it does deserve to come out. It's not, it's not an awful track. It's just, again, I've had it for way too long. Just producer standard producer problems in it it's like oh don't put it out yeah. he's always had second thoughts yeah, about of, yeah, is it it's but it's a fucking banger mate so, so yeah, yeah so that's coming out in a guaranteed literally a couple of weeks and then we've also got well we're also starting filming a new video for Bleed Easy next oh. week as well oh. so it's going to be <laughs> fucking awesome to get back behind the camera I'm so again excited for that with Oi, you guys at the, well, this, at the end of this podcast David's going to give us a call by the way oh, so is we he? can have a chat about the idea that he's got for the podcast so yeah live the podcast of the video for the video sorry yeah live in action 
Yeah, cool, that's cool. That's cool. Yeah, we're, we're going in a bit more blind this time rather than the boogeyman video because we, uh, we all had I an don't idea. know how I feel about going in more blind. Going in more blind and not knowing what's going on is not yeah, good Yeah, but me. that's at the same time. Oh, no, because we are though because <laughs> I don't know what's going on, do you? Yeah, oh, no, no, I don't, but no, no, we're going to find out because we're going to have this chat. Yeah, that's what I mean. That's what I mean. We know about the basis of what it's going to be, right? The Yeah, 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 yeah. That's what we've given him. So now we're going to hear what his ideas are back to us. So he knows what... And I took him to the place where we're shooting it the other day and so he could actually see exactly what to do and they're going there tomorrow to actually pinpoint shots Check and shit terrain. yeah man cool but yes yeah, so anyway it'll be good because we're all together so we can all actually have this conversation yeah, sick. and speak to them sick 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 wicked but, yeah that's um the that's, intro of the show yeah well Dan, that's pretty so much us that's pretty who much is us introducing done. our guest connor i think you should introduce uh, our guest this week uh, okay hi lewis hello wow. connor L- a oh, better no. introduction than that of Come course, on, mate, i was gonna give it i was gonna give it a little bit more than building today you took We've it away got, from me. Uh, Lewis Benton, aka Taylor Made, aka Boop Daddy, Boop Daddy. That's just us. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> I, I'm glad you did it because I was not going to top that intro. <laughs> How are you doing, Lewis? Hi, Lewis. Thanks I'm very good, for coming boys. On our hey. show. Thank you, thank you for having me on. No, honestly, thank you for having us on. Well, me on yours, but these boys as well. I was going to yeah, come on I your show, on. and you didn't reschedule me back in. We did, and then your braids were too tight. Oh no, 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 no! I had to get Real my braids. Talk. No, really? oh no! I went to get my braids done. <laughs> Yeah. And then you didn't, there wasn't a session oh, no, session to be rescheduled honest, after. To be honest, we've got to get Ben on and we've got to get Nigel on. Because yeah. you, but you want it. At the moment, we've got a full schedule for the next few weeks at least. So I will yeah. chuck you some dates. Because you cancelled yeah. on the day that I was free. And then I was like, okay, Bro, I can do I the next day. You, I then, promise you, that was not me that cancelled that. And that goes not. Oh, oh, well, fuck not, it. It yeah, doesn't matter. It, it got cancelled for, for reasons that will not be shared. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, and then the next day, and then you, and then you were getting your braids done. Yeah. And, uh, so th- these things happen, boys. Yeah. I'll tell yeah. you one thing. And you're here with us now. I know, I know. But I actually, so it was meant to be Monday. And this then, week, yeah. Yeah, and then, so things get cancelled. And yeah. it's just yeah, the way yeah, it is. Yeah. And, and I'm not Tuesday. I'm not that sort of person either. So it makes me feel shit when fi- when you have to reschedule. Because that ain't what I'm about. Yeah. That, like, I like things going yeah, yeah, yeah. according to plan. Smoothly, so. yeah. Yeah, so like you said today, I sent you a voice message. You're like... I was sure that was you cancelling again. Yeah, I was fucking shitting myself. <laughs> yeah. I was like, you know, when you get that message, yeah, it's like yeah, someone yeah. just... Do oh, I want to open it? Do I want to not? Oh, it's am horrible. I, is, am, I, am I hungry enough to be able to not f- freak out if I hear something I don't... We've had it in the past, haven't we? Quite a lot with... with fuck, that's loud, to be fair, haven't we? No. But not that, the, people where they've cancelled on us or said they can't do it. It's and the it's worst. Like, it's the it worst. It's horrible. Like, yeah. For anyone that doesn't know, just that uh, I do my own No, so, we're, so right, we're, we're jumping ahead of ourselves and getting into the chat. So yeah. let's introduce who you are. Okay. So, so you, that. You, are, you obviously have a podcast and while we're on I that. I do. So yeah. your podcast is? The Proper Chat Podcast. There you go. Yeah. Uh, and uh, so you've also got your music project, which you're not called Lewis Benton. You are I'm not. I'm Taylor, Taylor Made. Yeah. yeah, spelt with a Y-D, not... D-E. Yeah, yeah, have yeah. That. yeah, exactly. Too, yeah. Many, too <laughs> many people with that. Yeah. Even well, it's Wiz Khalifa. Wiz Khalifa's a Wiz Khalifa's like Taylor made. He's got Taylor made, hasn't he? Has he really? Khalifa. What? Taylor made. Taylor made. That's a, oh, oh no, it's Taylor sure. Gang. Taylor, Taylor Gang. Gang. Yeah. Nearly, yeah. nearly. But there are there's a lot of people with that name already. So when I when I went to upload my first track to Spotify, it was yeah. like you can't do that. So I was like, all oh, right, I'll know what I'll do. I'll change Where? change it to M A Y D. Right. And then it turns out that there was someone else. That's got that name as well. That wasn't on Spotify at the time. They're quite a successful band from in Middlesbrough. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. yeah. So it was, and then because I'd got there one day before, and they'd tried to put their stuff up literally the next day. This is you could not write it. <laughs> I changed my name one day, uploaded for the next week, and the one day after that, they'd scheduled their first song to go out oh, so yeah. it went on to my music so I'd released oh. my first oh, track bro, I've got a similar thing on mine nah bro it's the worst thing in the yeah. world oh, and it's no still way. and then obviously you report that but it still comes up on some of, some of the like like Deezer or yeah. Tidal or something like that yeah. Yeah. their tracks are still on my stuff I've, oh. I've heard a lot of stuff going on about that with Spotify, especially in drum and bass, because mm. it's like all oh, the names are quite short and like upgrade, like people, someone like that. He's had and trouble just, with that. And it's just like a damaging name, isn't it? Like DMB is like Hazard or like yeah. Target or yeah. like it's something that's there's something that's <laughs> about like, to cause sabotage. Yeah. Right fist, you know what I mean? <laughs> so it's just something that's like so obvious. Yeah, that so many people have it. Mm. Missile. So the, the amount of female DJs that must have called themselves Miss Isle. <laughs> <laughs> Probably about 600. Maybe, maybe, man. Yeah, Probably. Yeah. I haven't come across I'm telling you, boy. 
I'm telling you. I love that. That's a fact. You're not fucking wrong, though. You're absolutely not wrong. That's a fact. That's not exclusive. Miss I love that. And then everyone's music's on the same thing. And then the lucky person is the first person that has all the rights to that music. Yeah. So just reaps all the streams. Oh, no, no. Got copyrights to that name. Yeah. Right. Right. That name. So straight to the point then, and for jumping this into it, why are you not changing your name? So, right. So this is something I wanted to go a bit deeper on because you spoke about it last week. I believe yeah. it was last week's yeah, episode yeah, yeah, about yeah. your I've, name. I've already not... got my new name, actually. Yeah. Oh, excuse You know what, boys? So I'm I've kind you. of, I've kind of got a new name for myself. But oh, have you? So we are going real deep into this from the start. So yeah. I make my music is is hip hop inspired or grime inspired, and it's very realist. So anything that I I um talk about, it's not like um mythological or you get some hip hop artist that real shit that'll be like talking about. Brand things shit. that just yeah like, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's good yeah. It, but it's, it's like like cosmic can't really gypsies or something it, yeah. like that yeah 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 that you're isn't like, me you're telling the story like you want I'm, to tell your yeah story. I'm saying it and it has to be real to me and if it yeah, isn't yeah. then I'll what's the it. point yeah. I, I second yeah. that I, I totally second, get that yeah. I totally so get that, that is completely, completely what I make yeah mm-hmm. But I can write the other way, and I can write the other, the other way. The other way, well. in one sense. So what do you yeah. mean? The other way, as in so do oh, all in the, that sort of like the wordplay that that sounds fantastic to listen oh, to. Oh, so the skill, the skill of yeah, MC fundamentally and rapping, means, means it, nothing. You can't yeah, say that. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. If you break it down, you're not going to walk away and think shit. Mm. That meant so. That gave me chills. You're not going to mm. get chills when someone no, talks about. No, not at all. Yeah, yeah. Shanking and blasting. Then a, a bitch was up when the blast. You say yeah, that was like, like, <laughs> there was more like, like kind of writing bars, just like so you could spit over any kind of beat with like more like a live setting, like with a DJ or something like that. Yeah, Not so like something p- generic. Performing a tune. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Writing bars so, or something. And, uh, I guess but, but there's only so far you can take that. And it, right, this sounds weird. Like energy, everything, a bit weird. I feel like everything revolves around energy. That kind 100%. of energy where you're talking about. Shagging birds, selling a fuckload of drugs. There's only so far you can take that. Even if you saw it live, you're like, yeah, this is fucking lit. This is sick. But if you yeah. listen to like Kendrick Lamar, for example, he still has those sort of tunes. They're still got that no, yeah, lit factor, but lie. it's got real content behind it, if you know what I mean. That's even better than listening to I'm, it. I'm not going to lie and say that I haven't done tunes that aren't real to me, but they are real to someone. Yeah, So I've got a tune called French Kiss. Obviously, I've been in a relationship 10 years. Yeah, but that's, that that's isn't true. That's been a creative. That's been a creative. <laughs> what I'm, what I'm saying creative. in that isn't true, yeah? yeah you're right, you're right from, from a perspective. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And it's a that. real perspective. Yeah, it's, yeah. Not, it's not like, I don't want to call it gibberish because that's taken away from something that is a really good It's art a story. Form, yeah. Music, art, it's, it's writing. You're writing. Writing is about telling a story, whether it's your story, somebody else's story. If you can tell somebody else's story better than they can tell that story, then fuck it. It I'd doesn't say, take I'd away the, from the cause and effect of the story, I don't think, no? I'd say the contrast would be someone like Rap Man, yeah, to Chester P. Do you boys know Chester P? I know, P? Ra- I know, I know Rap Man. P. I Chester P, know P is, is the pinnacle. So Rap Man, he's like, you know Blue Story, the film, yeah, the film he, Blue Story. Yeah, yeah, he I, I, I that. followed that. He was that sick. So, yeah, and that was actually, he, so Rap Man made a rap that was a three-part rap which is actually now what a 90-minute film is in Blue Story. So he yeah, wrote a rap it's in, worth in, watching. in three parts that was that good. And c- was that true? That I made a fucking film about it's it. It's sick. Oh, he, made, yeah. he ended up yeah. there to meet Jay-Z really cool. and shit from it. it was yeah, he fucking, he yeah. smashed it. 100%. He absolutely smashed it. But on, on the top of music, how, how did you get into music? What what drew you to blood? Because you, you start releasing stuff pro- like, properly, seriously. In June, yeah, so it's not like even fair, been a year. fairly, fairly really? recently. Yeah. So, so, what? so, ha- what made you get? Sorry, Ben. That's no, right, that's right. Yeah, go on, go what on. made you get into it? Like, yeah. why? And also, why now? Yeah, yeah I know. I've, I've not. I'm not the earliest on the block, but no. But I mean, like, honestly, boys, you've had a what? So, when? Where did it start then? First, so it started when I was probably. As everyone, 12, 13, when, M- when you hear Eminem, right? And yeah, it's just, as everyone, yeah, it's true. Yeah, Eminem, for any, for most for rappers. Age, yeah, anyway, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's Eminem, man. You hear him and you just think this is absolutely unreal. Yeah. And it kind of started there. And then when I was probably, probably 14, there was a guy that was 16 or something who had moved to my village from London. And he made grime. And at that point, I hadn't really heard of grime because it was something that Wiley had only just made himself. Yeah. So grime, it was a new thing. Oh, early days of grime. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, right at the start, mate. When yeah. when 
the clashes between Dizzy and Wiley yeah. in in like having a rap battle over grime, which makes no sense yeah. because rap battles are hip hop. Yeah. But there's there's old school videos. Of yeah, them I've seen them. Like the one in battling. the staircase. Do you remember the yeah. one in the staircase? And, and Chipmunk was in that little staircase. And there was one with Kano as well. Do you remember that one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. They became right. diss track, didn't they? Sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And so they ended up this that era. Like I, I just missed out. Oh, see, I didn't miss out. See, when you guys were listening to metal and that, I was into that. I know, I know. Literally at the beginning of grime. Is when I started oh, writing man. Grant. Yeah, yeah it was like. I listen um, back to the stuff now and I don't mind it, but it's at the time it was like, that is completely out of my fucking zone. Yeah, yeah, completely not, specific. That is not what I'm interested right? in. There was, you know, Stormzy. Yeah. yeah. You know, his. Um, you know that like uh, like video that he did that got him famous? So something about what over a beat. Yeah, it was the one. Uh, Tell my man, shut up. Shut up. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. That is over a tune. And it's called THC. I remember the tunes called THC, the instrumental. And that was bigger in a guy that is now went down for like, I think it was like Dizzy's cousin or something like that. But that tune what? is called THC. That's and it was big. That's the shot. Because I felt like I recognised that melody. I felt like I'd heard that melody before somewhere. It seemed familiar when it came out. I couldn't figure out why. That was the rap battle days. right? And there was a guy that smashed that. And I can't remember his name. And it's annoyed me now that I can't remember his name. But he's in prison, went down for a long while. But he had a tune over that yeah. that was, for me, a hundred times better than what Stormzy did. Yeah. I never got the recogni recognition for yeah. it. Really? But those were the days when I started nah. seeing it. And don't yeah, get me wrong. Sick. I'm a little white kid, country boy. Was a bit of a chav at that time. <laughs> it's femboy. You, know, femboy. Yeah. you haven't got an eyebrow piercing though, have you? No, I've got a nose one though. So I know, like, that's right. Nose. I think, I'm, I've been <laughs> thinking about getting a nose one. I reckon, I, think, I reckon I could rock one of them, you know. Get offended over there. No, I'm not getting no, I'm, I'm, I'm going to get my head pierced tomorrow. No, yeah. I, think yeah. I, might, eyebrow. I think I might get one, you know. Just a little... But that, that's when it started. Yeah. And do, you want, do you want to hear something, Connor, to go back? This is my first ever grime thing that I put up on YouTube. Yeah. And this, I don't think anyone's ever seen this. Go on YouTube now and search for Fenland Fuckabout. <laughs> right, this is years. Is, is this Fenland? you? Yeah, this is me and my mate from London. Can, are we, 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 can, we, are we, we can get to, the audio, when, surely. Yeah, we when, can get the, we can just, get the it's audio. On, it's on YouTube, man. So just play it from yeah, it. I mean, yeah, but I'm saying we, we'll have to put this in afterwards. No, yeah. I'm telling you what, boys. You'll hear how bad it is. You couldn't extract the audio and make <laughs> it work. Oh, is it like filmed with like an old school Nokia or something? It was, it was actually filmed with a, with a Fenland, mic Fenland, okay. that I just plugged. Uh, did you say Fenland Fuckabout? When Finland. was this? When, when I, was I it? mean, I think it's at least seven years ago. Finland mm. production, is that it? I remember no, like that was... <laughs> do you want to go even mental? That's when I started trying to make beats. That's got to be six years ago. Finland fuck about. Yeah, and it should just be... It should just 12 years ago, that was. 12 years Fucking ago. Hell. So this yeah. is the first thing I ever recorded. Bearing in mind, boys, I didn't release anything until June last year. Yeah, and 12 yeah. years ago, this <laughs> was on YouTube. So I'm fending, representing, if you come to our ends, better get defended. You got men to the power of ten, but the men we got are a bit demented. This ain't far-fetched and I ain't pretending. Violent tyrants are patience pending. Mending the nation's vacant endings with a lot of bloodshed, a bit of bomb bending, sending strife. So that was literally 12 years ago, right? Okay, right. <laughs> that oh, is, that was my introduction to music. And yeah. in that time, I wrote, and I wrote, I've probably lost 100 hours of bars. That I've written, no joke. I write every week when I'm feeling a bit shit. When I'm yeah. when I've got a bit of free time, I'll write something, yeah. do something. Yeah. And I never wrote in a pad. I never wrote in a book. It was always on the computer I had at the time. Yeah. And you probably go through a a, a PC a year, when yeah. when especially in the Mate, days of LimeWire. I fucking yeah, I lost yeah, yeah. I lost a Samsung Galaxy S10 mm. that I had before I switched to iPhone because I worked for Apple. I'd, uh, yeah. You had to switch read. <laughs> I lost this. So no I, went, I went out on the boat once, literally tail end of the first lockdown. We rented a boat out, just took it. On. I don't know why I even took it out with me. Mm. Lost it. I had literally about three years of writing and that. And it fucking hurt. And that, that is why literally oh, one I of bet. the worst exper experiences in my fucking life. And it's all I could share with them. Like, oh, I've just lost all this. Hours, mate. Did you like, drop it in the river? Uh, was it, uh, it was. It never went in the river. Uh, I remember mooring up this boat. I remember seeing it, picking it up. What I think went happened is I think I picked it up, put it in a, in a plastic bag, in a plastic bag, <laughs> and I think, somebody, I, think, I think somebody's. I think somebody's then picked up this plastic bag, so oh, off, thinking yeah, it's so rubbish, perfect. and just put it in the bin. I think that's Ooh. what happened because it didn't go in the water. I can tell you that for a fact. And that's the worst yeah. thing. And you, I never learnt from that because that has happened to me probably six or seven times. Phones, everything, mm. and I'll, I'll just be driving along or and I'll hear a beat and I'll remember a bar that I wrote 
Eight years ago, yeah, yeah, yeah. that was long gone, or a little yeah, section, or sometimes it's little sections. Yeah, 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 it was yeah, just yeah, something exactly that you'd you written mean. it to, and the tune sounded the same. But there was a note in that, that and it made it reminded you of your. Yeah, yeah but then I, I never write them down again, so I lost it all. So I've kind yeah. of had to start from the beginning. Yeah, yeah. So, I write so, a lot of one-liners. One-liners so, are like what I sort of. That's that's how I write. It. I'll write down all of that shit, and then I'll write a song based off of that one line. Yeah. So that if I sit down, or I'll incorporate a couple of the lines together if they fit. Mm. But Very like, clever. it's mainly I'll take one of them, and then I'll just develop from that. Yeah, and just yeah, build your whole. Literally yeah. just one line. I won't have like paragraphs. I don't do anything like that. I'll just write it as a song off of a line at the time. Really? So if we if we meet up, and it'll be like. If like Ben shows us a beat and I'm sitting there writing, I'll just p pull one, find a line that I think suits. Obviously, a lot of my like, lyrics are like old ones from when I was doing like hip hop stuff, so they're all just offensive. So, <laughs> I just, so, so I just can't fucking use them. So I've got to scroll through, find ones that I think right that will sound nice on that beat. That, I'm yeah. so different when it comes to that because uh, really? I noticed what you were saying last week again, and like you were saying, you you don't write to a beat, you write and then yeah. you put it to a beat. Yeah. Whereas I I literally have to listen to a beat. To yeah. get my so that's, genre. That's, yeah. that's similar to you, Connor. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I think it. it's because I produce. When I didn't produce, I'd always write to beats. Mm. As soon as I started producing, I started not writing to beats. But then also, I remember when you asked me the question about my writing, I remembered an interview, an interview I'd watched of Chipmunk mm. a few years ago. And he, he said exactly the same thing. He doesn't write. Do you practice his flows from not yeah. writing to beats? It's just a, it's just a, it adds, it adds another, in, it just kind of adds, a, adds another uh, edge. It's, I it's think. so complex. The whole thing is so complex. If someone said, "How do you write?" Yeah, you can't really say. Because no, you can't. You can't. You can't. And it's, it's almost like even when someone says, "Why do you write about something?" or "How did you end up writing about this?" It's almost a, you. You don't really. I have, sometimes I know why I've written certain songs, but sometimes I might, I might start a song thinking I'm writing about this, and it turns into something. Com Completely different. It just it's just one of the things that just happens. Like that pub conversation we're talking about about, about the missuses and them. I guess maybe like <laughs> it just happens in, sometimes, you know. I'm joking, I'm joking. In like <laughs> interviews when you get questions like that, like in the future, or like even artists now, like maybe they're just they have to kind of come up with an answer. So like like yeah. so they they'll probably write similar to you guys, but they're just like, Oh fuck, I've got to say something. And, yeah. and even when it comes to writing, right? So i just a question to you boys. So for example, what I'll do, and it's like I said to you earlier, right? Yeah. So I'll hear a beat and I'll go to a place in my head. It's almost like I put a visual to the beat before. Yeah. You can ask Al, you can ask Nick. I'll be like, right, this reminds but me. But you can of see the whole thing. But riding you see... on a tuk tuk in India, but, but so that would have to be that, honestly yeah. things that specific is oh, where yeah. I'll. Do you do you yeah. feel like you see it like when you when it clicks? Do you feel like you see the whole thing? Hundred percent. Like the whole the whole no, not the, the whole, whole thing. thing. Not a when so so the first thing is I'll get that snapshot. And like I said to you, when you started playing that track upstairs, yeah. that, that uh, we said about yeah, what yeah, you're yeah, gonna, yeah. yeah. I was like, that reminds me of the Titanic. Yeah. And I was like, it would it put me in the mind frame of what I was envisioning was the Titanic going down, right? And seeing all these people scrambling. Imagery, and that's that is it literally exactly where it put me. Yeah. So if I was to write to that, it would be what like catastrophe, something, something. It sets monumental. the it sets yeah. the tone straight away. And that and that's where I'd start my writing. But then it develops. And then when you're writing, you might go, Do you know what? This is going off somewhere else. And you just have to give in to that creativity. Yeah. Right? And you have to go with I, it. Yeah, I'm kind of similar to that, I guess, because I kind of wrote something in my phone like because I just thought of like just put myself in the scene of just, I don't know, I just had a random idea of someone white knuckling a steering wheel going through traffic. There we go. And then like, I just wanted a to create specific. a tune of I that, of that. Yeah. that, and then yeah, you yeah. might find at the end of it, it doesn't take you there. But what you have created yeah. is something yeah. sick. So you go, yeah. I, it, mm. No longer do I think of the white knuckles, that is but that's where it took me, and yeah. it took me to a place. Just, yeah. just a question for you, in, in regards to your music, because um, earlier on you said, because you've started putting music out now seriously, yeah. and you're like, oh, why didn't I do this ten years ago? Yeah, <coughs> twelve so years said, ago. Oh, yeah, 12, <laughs> twelve years ago. <laughs> 12. So, so now you, so now you've started afresh. Yeah, you've obviously got a crew. Give us a rundown of your crew. You're set up right now. So, right, so how did how, how what the question I guess was how did I get into music? How so, you got into music? I think we've covered. Yeah, on, have we covered that question? Yeah, no, much. we got in. We got into well, how how. So yeah, we'll we'll call it because it links. It yeah. Links. So how I got into music was that how I got into releasing music and actually trying to do something yeah. with music is one of your past guests, Oscar Corney. Yeah. Was a uh, so I was at a point where I weren't doing anything with it up until the start of twenty twenty not doing anything with music, but Oscar obviously knew that I could make music and was on a building site and bumped into someone and they were just chatting as they're fixing stuff or breaking it. I don't know yeah. what they're on a building site. <laughs> I haven't been on one in ages. I was a painter and decorator. But, uh, <laughs> but, and, they, and they got into a conversation and he said to Oscar, 
He was like, and this is Alex, Mr. SYX, Mr. Yeah. S23. Is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He said to Oscar, I make beats. I've, I've started making beats recently. And Oscar's like, oh, what beats do you make? And he's like, I make hip hop and like trap music and yeah. grime music. So Oscar just rang me up and said, I've just found a producer. Would you be like, would you want to come and meet him? I was like, yeah, no, man, no why way. not? Why not? And then... Is that how you met like, him? Yeah. And then so I went with Oscar really? around Alex's and then Oscar's not been around since. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> no, but, but yeah, no, Alex, I'm, honestly, man, I'm still yet to meet Alex, Alex. The whole thing's a circle though, boys, because mm. then I introduced Tone Blanco yeah. Yeah. To, to Alex, Alex and they've yeah. got, they've got, like, they're doing, mad. they're making movements. And I then, never yeah. know how their story Literally, I've, actually, I've actually met up with Nick and Nick a couple of times. Actually. Yeah, man. And he's a legend. Uh, cause I, I, might, I, would, I need to make, I just need to make, make more music. Like, because for so long, like, obviously I love Bleedies, I love fucking podcasts, I love everything that we do right now. But when it started for me before, it got kind of serious. It was always meeting up with other people, just meeting up with different musicians all the time. It just, it just keeps it fresh. And I've yeah. for me, I feel like I've kind of started tapping back into that. Like I'm meeting up with different people every every other week just to, to There's do, nothing to do wrong with bits, moving, just, having your focus, right? Yeah. But spreading your name it just, out it just, other, Yeah, it yeah, keeps, yeah, it, yeah. It keeps it fresh. And, and again, it's the same thing. as many people with, as possible. Yeah, it's networking. It goes, it, That's yeah. where I want to take it now. Yeah. So obviously it's, it's not even been a year. It's the next step, yeah. But still, it's good to be thinking about those things because it's what you've got to do. Like and, but there'll it. always be, you've always got your hub, yeah, your home. Yeah. And that for me will be S23 because it has been, I'm not going to say a whirlwind, but it's gone pretty fucking well for me initially yeah. from just going, yeah. Do you know what, let's release a track. And it was like, we'd recorded stuff. So I started going around there in say January yeah. and then lockdown and everything happened, like properly going around there in January. I think I had met him a bit before that. So the facts might be slightly out in that. But right, okay, but <laughs> yeah. still. It's... Regardless, then lockdown happens. And uh, I was still going around there and we fucking, I heard a track that I sent to you. Do you remember when I said, Connor, do you want to jump on this track? And then At the beat. That, and yeah, I, yeah, yeah. And I wasn't, yeah. Yeah, yeah was, and he weren't feeling it, right? He weren't yeah. feeling it. And I was like, fair enough, right? And then, then I was like, right, because I like a track with a hook going more into my music. If I yeah. hear a hook, then it takes away from that mental image and I can write around that hook. Right, right. Yeah. So if there's, so I, I thought it was a good track. It is a good track. Yeah. So I said, can you jump on that, Connor? And then when you said you couldn't, I was like, right, I'm going to take this by myself. I like the track. And yeah. I made Lockdown Rhythm. Right. And then because we were, we were like, we've just got to release this now. Yeah. Because it's going to be. To you, otherwise you're sitting on top of it. Yeah. And, and then it's not and lockdown then it's, anymore. Yeah. <laughs> and all of a sudden you release it. Yeah. It's yeah. understandable. And that, that was my first track. And it yeah, did sick. real well. It got like over a thousand streams in like a week or something because I assume people were searching lockdown and it was still relatively fresh so my track was there no so it did, it, yeah it did fucking well really well so then I was like I'm going to keep going really? and now I'm on fuck that's loud like <laughs> here we are no, honestly, man, all, all your stuff <laughs> is sick because also um, the, of your tune with Toe Black what's it called again Too Much yeah. Too that's, Much that I, is, that's I, my favourite honestly one, bro right? I yeah. heard that uh, with the first time Nick came over here he showed, Which was, he showed me that he I, he I heard it and I was like that is seriously fucking cold literally mate hairs on the back of your neck I was listening to it, I was like this is seriously fucking ill he sent him he sent it to me and it was you know when you send someone an mp3 via Facebook yeah. I had it like that I was listening to really? it in Facebook and oh. then I think when you release something after that but, oh no before that didn't you? Yeah, because there was something released. before. Because I remember there was a release coming up, and I thought it was that track. I was like, okay, it's not that track. Then yeah. I was like, the next one for sure has to be that track, Boy, and it fucking were, was. I, I Honestly, man, you. that is seriously it's fucking cold. That it, is my favorite shoot. So, 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 so it's not our best collab. It's not. We have got a really? track. We have got. A I've track. heard. I've heard a lot of you guys' stuff. I've heard a lot of you guys' yeah. stuff. A lot but of you guys' <laughs> stuff. <laughs> we have got a track that I promise you is. It's got more of a, a lonely view vibe to it. Oh, yeah. is it? No, it's, it's more chill. And for me, it's yeah. the best thing ever made in the S23 studio. Right. So so what is the S23 studio? So it's literally Alex's studio in his back garden. Is it? But yeah, and he's just got S23 productions on there. But he's, it's a lovely studio. He's like spent a lot of time and a lot of money to make it what it is. Yeah. Yeah. Got like a little like a sofa that you could use as a bed. People have slept in there. Really? Like, you would have it's, to... it's, just, it's just like a... It's just a studio. Yeah, yeah it's, it's just your hub. You've got studio. a nice little hub. Yeah, yeah nice and it is. So and this is the rundown of your crew, right? Yeah, man. So okay. my, my crew is Al or SYX yeah. uh, and Tone Blanco, but he's got other artists that come in. But 
It's, it's us three mainly, yeah, the ones nice. that are, are making it. Like, yeah, pushing. yeah. Like, yeah. Well, I guess like you three boys with Bleed Easy, it's like you've got your little, your proper you're, like... You're, you're, you're click. Yeah. Your day ones. <laughs> click. click. Yeah. So, yeah. So, so, so we give one of these tracks a spin? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, so, yeah, well, yeah. No, no, so so you, I guess the, the question is, you, there's two. You know, Obviously, I spoke to you about this before we came on. So your proudest track and also... Uh, something new, oh, but boy. we'll start with your proudest track. Oh, you can't, you can't just spin that because this is, you know, I said I told you I came early and yeah. I started overthinking things. Yeah, to be proud you of the track. You couldn't decide, could you? No, is, is that on the? Spot? I've got, I've got 12, 12 tracks that I've released, 12? right? Yeah, oh, and four. Twelve. <laughs> I've got twelve. <laughs> 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 oh, uh, so one third, Reggie? one third of my tracks, I'm proud of for different reasons. And I've written down every reason. So my proudest track individually. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had a I lot like of time. I like the fact to that you literally as soon as you said that straight into the podcast. Straight podcast. in, yeah, mate. We I made need notes. to start filming these podcasts. Give us, uh, give us the breakdown. Now, maybe season three. I'll we tell you, start. boys. I'll tell you. I'll tell you why it, each one I'm proud for for each reason. So, Jakey's song. Yeah. 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 So the reason I'm proud of that is because it was a real natural thing that me and Oscar did. It was like. I came round there and we just obviously we had a track from years ago that we were going to release for Jake couldn't yeah. couldn't remember yeah, it yeah, yeah. so we just he just started jamming and it pretty much came about like that so um, and then I was like so we got down that as a professional recording and then I said to him I want to like promo this I want to do something with this yeah to make it before the release and yeah. you went to Dan with that right uh, yeah Dan Dan um, mixed that and mastered that yeah yeah yeah, yeah. but um so I said to him, bro, next Wednesday I'm coming round, get your guitar. It's, this is like, it was pissing it down. I don't know why. I'm pretty sure it was in like June, right? Yeah. And as soon that as I start walking down there, beautiful weather, start walking down there, it starts raining or some shit, right? So I said, just get in your car. All I want you to do is a simple acoustic. Because you posted yeah, a video of that, didn't yeah, you? Because I saw the video. I'm pretty sure, it, I'm pretty yeah, sure I, I saw the that. video. It started raining and all the rain just made it sound so authentic. Oh, and it was, man. It's had like 20K views, that. Yeah, on mate, Facebook, so man. good, man. Yeah, so awesome. that's one. That was that the I'm first one where I was like, actually, Lewis Yeah, so I was in that. Yeah, yeah, same. <laughs> I same. appreciate that. Yeah, yeah no. Not after that one <laughs> Fenland fuck about. It's like, oh, this thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and that was the first time that I really, that I was like, you know what? Because people saw that and messaged me, and like, um, some woman did like a write up on it. That she was like so inspired by it. She, on, it was cold. Like, it, yeah, honestly, yeah, man, yeah, it, yeah, it was he, that was a yeah. heavy tune, man. Heavy, yeah, very fucking much. heavy. Then obviously, that I'm well proud of that. Obviously, but then so that's your proudest track. Should we play it right that now? That has got to be right. Yeah, so that's your proudest. Have, 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 have you got a master done of that? Yeah, uh, of Jakey song. Have you got yeah, it? I've probably got it on my phone. No, yeah, it's on Spotify, right now, man. It's on Spotify. Yeah. Afterwards. Yeah, yeah. You, you get so it on Spotify or whatever. Introduce, like, introduce, the introduce the track. What What do I do? So we're right, going to so play your proudest yeah. track, which you've decided yeah, but is your... Yeah, Can you hear me out to what yeah, might yeah, not yeah, be we, my we'll, proudest we're gonna track? Get, oh, we'll get on to that. We'll get on to that. Oh, really? And this is his second proudest track. And this is Yeah, but just hear me out. Okay, okay, okay. So I apologise. I apologise. That's one reason. Yeah, and it makes the podcast a little bit longer, doesn't it? I know, it? but we've got to pick a song to play. Yeah, yeah just exactly. we want a song so to play. I'll so should we start with that boys. one? No, so I'll leave it up to we you. We don't boys, try and keep the podcast long. We try and keep it about an hour and 15 minutes. <laughs> cool. <laughs> cool, right, but you need to decide, all right? So okay, that's right. the reason. Right, and then I'll leave it up sorry, to you. Sorry, I'm sorry for taking away your proudest track. Please, <laughs> please. <laughs> then obviously me. I've got Nevaeh's song. So the other end of the spectrum, I've got Nevaeh's song, which is a song I did about my daughter, which yeah. I've literally had messages from people saying, I, I literally listen to that and cry. It's everything I want to tell my daughter, but I can't. Full is grown it? men. And is this recorded, really? like, yeah? I played oh, them. I played them. Cool, it's, on, it's on everywhere. Like, it's the... Like, out, it's a release. Okay, yeah, so you're yeah. so you're wanting us to pick your favorite, your yeah, proudest so track for no, you, based I'm off of based off of your description. No. Okay, yeah, so cool, that cool. One, cool. That one makes fully grown men cry and say, "This is exactly what I wanted to tell my daughter, and I never had the words to say it or whatever." Right, so that's Nevaeh's song, Very and relatable. she loves it. I can't even play that in front of Nevaeh without get, her getting Aww. tearful. She's six years old, and it, as soon as that comes on, she <laughs> comes and cuddles me, and she's got tears in her eyes. That's I'm fucking saying, awesome, man. Why are you crying? And she can't that. explain to me that she's crying because it's so emotionally overwhelming for her. Really? Yeah, she's That's awesome, awesome man. man. That's yeah, cool. I'm like, are you crying because you're sad? She's like, no, I'm crying because I love you or whatever, and it's like... Yeah, that's fucking sick, man. Yeah, so that's another reason. That could be, you know, this is right, what okay, I'm saying. Okay. I can't choose right, a crowd. That's one, that's two. How many have we got? Twelve to get through? No. We've got four out of the four. top. Okay, cool. So then we've got Defile Meaning, which was a track that I made that was creatively my proudest track. Okay. Because in the studio, it was one of them things where you make it and the hairs on the back of your neck stand up and you're like, 
we are making something here that is different. Yeah, and we had this conversation recently, actually, that there's that feeling. That you're like, this just... is magical. Yeah. And honestly, boys, if I blow up, that will be one of the tracks that people hold on to because it is that creatively good. Yeah. And uh, out of all of my tracks, you know, you can see how just many I've saved one. and downloaded. Uh, that is actually my most popular track just oh, behind Jakey's song. Really? Uh, uh, like, flip every now and then. Was that, so was yeah. that, was that one quick? Did that, did that come together quick? It was, yeah, it was pretty quick, but we, we put creative aspects in that we weren't, we didn't plan to do, you that just, we were like, we need to do this, and then we did it, and we are like, that's fucking perfect, man, that goes so well, and then all of a sudden, it just creates this magic, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, 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 you can't so, explain sometimes. Yeah, exactly, so that was that, so that's another reason that could be my proudest track, right? Yeah, yeah, it yeah. Was the most. yeah, And then my fine. final one is... Yeah, I was going to say. Oh, sorry, boys. Was yeah, that? You're going to have to lift that up. Sorry. You've been talking like that. So oh, I don't know shit. if it's going to pick. Just, oh, sorry fuck. to anyone at it's home right. if the sound is right. So, anyone that's that didn't hear the rest of that, my proudest track. <laughs> Start again. It's like, yeah. Yeah. No, no, sorry. So, my proud. Uh, and then my fourth one that could be up there is You're the Greatest, which I did with, with Oscar. Yeah, that's um, also a big tune. And that got played on BBC Introducing. Yeah. So, how do you weigh that up? How yeah, can you say okay, which okay. one's your proudest? I would say Jakey's song is the most because that was the first one. That's, well, to be fair, me, it's the one that... But then I can't pick your proudest Yeah, track. you've got to no, pick, you've got to pick boys, one, bro. And I Look, can't pick between them. Because where you've made it hard for us now... Listen, we've right, I'll pick, okay, I'll pick between my dead brother or my daughter. That's what you're making me oh, do. Right, I see. Oh, yeah. Okay, fine. That's bro. literally what you've just asked me to yeah, do. Yeah, okay, it. sorry, I see what you're doing. All right, but for you boys, right, you actually, you two specifically had a track that was dedicated to Jake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So let's just put that on top. Yeah, 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 I tell yeah, you what, yeah. let's play Jake's song yeah, right yeah, now. We'll play we'll play the daughter's track at the end. We'll play both. Yeah, yeah if that's what you want to do, bro. Yeah. Well, if you what? want, if you want. No, whatever, boys. We'll play your song now, and we'll play Jake's song at the end. Because we haven't played that for fucking. We haven't played that on the show, have we? We played. We all. I haven't heard it for years. No, I haven't heard it. I'll probably cry if I hear that. Oh my god. Oh god, man. Yeah, played it. That's how we. That's how we got mates, really, wasn't it? Yeah, same. Yeah, same. I think you supported the band, obviously, when we were doing that. Because Oscar was best mates with your brother Jake, who had passed away. Like, was it eight eight years ago? Ten, nine years ago? It'll be nine years in August. Fucking hell, twenty twelve time. And that does actually bring me to something. I'm going to say this on air. You can edit it out if you want. No, 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 man. You know your ooze on the ooze. Yeah. August, let me do the acoustic that I did on Facebook. Yeah, yeah, course, oh, man. mate, you need with, to. With Oscar. Yeah. And we'll yeah, do yeah. it as a proper. A proper video. Yeah, right? yeah man. Yeah, Another. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's our exclusive. Yeah, yeah, yeah no, that's, yes, yeah, it's fine. Yeah. No, it's fine. Yeah. I, to be fair, mate, like, Who's on the News is actually pretty open. The things with podcasts is the hardest one to. Because we've got so many people we specifically want to get on. Yeah, yeah, It's of like course, we had man. to make sure everyone was sort of. Like lined up, but who's on the news? Yeah, that's fine. We'll sort yeah, out. Yeah, no, oh, that's a man. fucking great yeah. shout. Yeah, yeah cool. Yeah, yeah, we'll that was that. something I had in the back pocket. I was yeah, like, no, I'm, no. Gonna, I'm gonna put the boy, pressure boy, on these boys. That should be the next one. That should be the next one. Nah, we'll do it August. Yeah, August. Because because the the bar opens August 2012. Oh yeah, August. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, it opens with that bar because it's from Jake's eyes. That track is. Oh fucking sick, man. Oh, I'm gonna spud you again. Yeah, do it, man. For anyone I can't see what's happening in the studio, I'm literally spudding him. I'm just getting spudded. I'm getting potatoes uh, chucked at me. Um, okay, okay. So, 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 what, what one do you want to play? Just out of not out proudest. What out of those four songs? What do you want to play on the podcast? Yeah, yeah, let's. I'll tell you what. Oh, Which one are we going to go for first, and then in a little bit we'll do. We can play another one. one. We'll play. We'll play a couple, and then we'll play Jake's song at the end. But just give us one. Just, song just go now. with "You're the Greatest" because you're it's the, greatest. the most commercially accepted. <laughs> Now introduce it's it. Introduce accepted. it. Yeah. Yeah, introduce you your say. track for us. So this is "You're the Greatest" by Taylor Made featuring Oscar Corny. So, but I won't stop giving till I got gold Cause the life of a guy that is lost hope Isn't worth living if you're giving all you got though no. There's times when you wanna let go I'm wired from a life and it's stressful Keep fighting and the window will arise Keep the vision in your eyes and I know you'll be next bro Cause giving up's far too easy Just think of the people you're leaving All your family that love you and need you Carrying reason to your grave for the scenery Do you think it's fair they're grieving? You don't care cause you're not breathing But you know you gotta dig real deep You gotta keep living if they give you a reason So stay faithful, stand firm Keep thoughtful, you come first At rip, lust and get hurt Said, play with fire, you get burned So stay focused and be stern Stay honest and you'll learn that Our words are our voices Our choices are worth When did my life escape me? When did my thoughts betray the way that I Right, 
right, so that was Taylor Made, You're the Greatest. It was. Big up, big tune. Yes. Thank you. Um, so we'll play some more tunes later on, uh, but first we need to get to your new music. So my so new some, music. So something new. So, a so new I've got track. a track that comes out on the 2nd oh, of is May. Is it exclusive? It's Actually, the 7th of May. We've put it back. So it's exclusive. We can play it now. Yeah, yeah you can play that now. Yeah. Okay. Roll okay. it. That's no, the, no, the, talk to us about that track. Please. So that is that was something that I wrote when I was feeling a bit low, quite probably two months ago. And we've... we've yeah. uh, S23 and Al has learned how to do videos to a real high level. Not like... It's not like psycho level, but it's, it is fucking unreal. His ability at making a video in three days is unbelievable. Really? So I, I wrote it. We went around, recorded it, did a video for it. And we we're like, well, let's release it. So that comes out on the 7th of May. That's called Realist. That was That is me at my worst. Yeah. Um, and some of the stuff in that is, is deep as fuck. Yeah, really? and yeah, we're yeah. good to play that now. Let's check it out. Well, yeah. So, yeah. do you want to introduce the track? So, this is Realist by Taylor Made. Comes out on the 7th of May. This is an exclusive for Fuck That's Loud. Add yeah. that shit. Ch check it out. It's 23. It's 23. What's the realest thing I ever wrote? Is it the realest thing I'll ever write? Cause I've been honest, really let go. The deepest, darkest pieces of my life. So what's the realest thing I ever wrote? I don't know. Is it the realest thing I'll ever write? I kinda hope. Cause I've been honest, really let it go. I know what's shown. The deepest, darkest pieces of my life. Another road, pardon, pen has been my best friend. In the times I'm at my wit's end. When I was wishing I was dead, weren't scared of what's next then. Not afraid of the next step. Getting closer to the edge, I was ready for the rest then Cause I'd had enough of stress, the mess, my life had been destined I need to keep it from the medicine Cause I'd have picked up all the bottles, taken ten of them and slept That's the cost when you cross lives Thought I was gone till I crossed teed and dot eyes The thought that belongs, saved by the lines All the black on the white, not the white on the back of the dash Like it was, trying to medicate myself with a bottle in the bag But settled all my sorrow like my buddy weighs a gram That's a different epidemic, got another one for that but at the moment of the Jesus moment, Christ, I was fucking deep, man, but seriously oh, fucking man. sick. Oh, no, seriously, boy, that's... seriously fucking sick, man. Thank you, boys. Uh, yeah, big up, man. Honestly, it's fucking wicked to have you on, man. Finally, after ages. We've been talking about this for a long time. Literally, yeah, for it has a long it has time. Been, it's been me badgering time. you boys more. You were, yeah, nah. <laughs> but Please yeah, let I, me I, on. I don't know. You're probably talking. I was saying to him, scratching at the saying? door like no, a cat. No, no. You were in. You were in this point that you have. You're not a replacement for anyone. This was your. No, thank this was you. I appreciate that, boys. I do. Um. Uh, so now we've done that. Yeah. I guess we better start talking about your podcast. Okay. Because you obviously, I don't know if anyone at home's noticed, but he, he can talk. <laughs> I talk too much. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but it's good talk. Too it's much. Funny. <laughs> too, much. Plug too much. Too much. So we could go on to talking about the podcast, or we could do it a little bit differently and bring in new old and heard now. Really? And then do the just in case chat, people are getting we've bored. Got the other tunes that we want to play um, from ah. Lewis in the latter part of the show, it'd be better to just tie it into there. So we could bring in um, New Old and Heard now. Yeah, fine. Yeah, yeah. New so Old and who's heard. ready to go with New Old and well, Heard? I am. We have got to have the jingle first. You One are. Second. So right. Oh, sorry. New Old and Unheard. Right, so new old and heard. Who wants to go first? Boy, me? Yeah, me? Yeah, go on, yeah, 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 you go, go. first. All right, all right. Then get me phone now. One second. Yeah, clockwise. Get your, <coughs> get your bloody lift up. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna go drum and bass uh, for all of mine because uh, yeah, all I'm of just, them. Yeah, because nice. I'm, I'm starting to pl uh, like gigs are starting to happen now. No, so I've, well, I've got like a couple of live sets your, coming up. Build your. It will be, uh, yeah, next Lepidoire. week. But I'll, yeah, I would have been on rough tempo tomorrow night. Oh, um, very nice. Or, Is that when this comes out? No, 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 I'm, I'm going on there You're tomorrow. So there tomorrow. It'll be last week when this is coming oh, out. Oh, so. okay. But um, yeah. Um, everyone so can catch that on Facebook, if, uh, link in the comments. Yeah, go and check that out. Go, yeah. go back. You can go on the Rough Tempo, they still have it up, so yeah, you can go yeah. check it out. It'll be um, the uh, the OTC recording show Big up, with uh, Jabba back That's to back, Slewy, and then myself, Andal, uh, Fen Nasty, and RDH. Big up. So yeah, uh, so yeah, my new track, which I'm track, will be track by Gino. Uh, he's doing really well on the Beatport charts at the moment. It's called Say Things. Really heavy track, like a really kind of rollery, 
his fucking drums are just insane, man, and his like dynamics are just sick. Mm. So go check that out. Um, yeah, just a fucking. He's a sick fucking producer. Cool. Uh, Where's he from? Where's he from? I think he's. I've, I think he's from Cambridge. Actually. I think he's quite oh, local. It's, it really. Yeah, yeah. Oh, sick. Yeah. So that's that one. Uh, my old, I think, yeah, it's a, by these guys called I Comanche, which is DJ Crust and DJ Die. You ever anyone heard yeah, DJ yeah, Die? Yeah, old school. Yeah, old school. The track's called Never Can Tell, and I always kind of it's always been in my USB. It's kind of quite an old track, but it's just one of them. It's got a real nice groove to it, and it just goes off like whenever I play it in like a rave or something. So I'm going to go for that one. Nice. Um, and then unheard of this guy called Extra. Uh, with a track called Droplets, which is like a really cool little, uh, like a little groove, like a really nice riff to it. Uh, been uh, released recently on Players, so it's kind of new, I guess, as well. But um, I guess, yeah, not many people have heard of Extra, heard the name Extra. No. Yeah. Anybody know? No. no. No, but I've heard Players. Players, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. With a Z. Shout out Players. Yeah. With a Z. With a Z. With a Z. With a Z. He's in drum bass. But Drums. yeah, they're my they're my D and B at New Olden Hoods. So yeah, nice, nice. I mean, obviously, old. I wish I could comment as if I knew who these guys were, but I mean, yeah, it's, it's, like, it's almost better that, you people, that other know. people don't. <laughs> yeah, a bit more specific to me, I guess. Yeah, I'm sick. Gonna, I'm just gonna D &B. shut this window up. Yeah, go on, shut the window. Um, yeah, New Olden Hood. Do you want to? I could go next. Or do you either, either or, boys. Well, I tell you what, Lewis, you're the guest. You go first. Yeah, go on then. So, so we start with the new, I assume. Yeah, so in that old new old on her. Yeah, so so new would would probably be, and it's not massively new, but it's new enough. So Mike Righteous, he's been one of my idols with his yeah. his track Margot. You can boy. definitely hear that in your in your sound. I think I appreciate that. That's yeah, actually a compliment. Mike Rogers is cold, bro. I, yeah, I know. I, I feel sorry for him though because he he's, he's he could have been more. The I, I want to say the same as Devlin, but Devlin did he did get the even, chance. Even but Devlin. even Devlin could have pushed. He, I don't know what went wrong there because he was on a trajectory. He oh, could have been the biggest. Some, something must have gone on there. For Mike Righteous, he had beef with AJ Tracy, so I don't know if that's done something to his career. Uh, yeah. I don't know. Mm. I, I, I can't comment. Is he, yeah, that's him in the grime scene. Is, is that all he does? I yeah. swear I've seen him on some drum and bass stuff. Maybe. Yeah, they, uh, AJ Tracy was Garage DMB grime. Um, he had beef with Mike, and then with Mike, Mike Righteous, sorry, as well. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, Mike Righteous is predominantly UK hip hop. UK hip hop, yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah predominantly. Okay. But he does. He throws in. He'd be perfect for like the twisted sound sort of. Yeah, thing, yeah, like. yeah. Man. He's he's got that. He's not trapped in a corner. But he's done. I don't know. What's but he's to his also career. in in a sense. Yeah. And Mike Rogers is also one dimension in a sense. In the sense of it's all just. <laughs> it's fucking raw. It's all, yeah, it's, 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 fucking it's just raw. too yeah. much of that. There's just it's no. So, for me, maybe that's why. There's just it's just not that dynamic a sound, in my opinion. It's sick and I love it. You know it, what I based but that there on? Is, uh -huh? What I based it is saying he could be part of that twisted sound yeah. was that his recent Instagram videos. He's doing another album, and what I heard from when he's going live yeah. is completely different. And it's like it is. He, he's adding diversity into yeah. his music yeah. but his fire in the booth for me yeah sick is up cold, there cold. I think it was his second one but it's up there as, as the best so I'd say for, for new it would be Margate Boy by Mike Righteous nice. or Sweet. Tom McDonald who's heard of Tom McDonald I know Tom yeah. McDonald I've heard of Tom McDonald yeah he's like no. become like an internet sensation YouTube sensation he released for months a track every week with a full visuals and the video was sick every time, and it was him and his missus at home in their house, every track. In lockdown. Yeah, yeah every really? single, and they are sick. unbelievable. You would love it. Really? Honestly, that, that Tom is... Tom McDonald. Tom McDonald. Go and check him out. Yeah. Yeah. It's got a bit overpowering for me now because he is so social media based. Somehow he's pulled an album out of his ass. So he's been releasing a track every week. He's done a full album with his missus and his best friend in what? that time. It, as well as? As well as releasing a full track with full visuals every week that have all gone viral um, because they're so relevant. So he did All Lives Matter. He did like, all that were relevant to the time. Released oh, really? and, and they're unbelievable. They're really fantastically well, written. Music fans at home. Check yeah, that check shit. him out. Man, I've never checked sure. it, but I'm going to be Got checking work it. Rate. Yeah, same check me. him out. And so that's that's my new. Uh, so old? Old. I want it so, as we mentioned in the break, I'm not a massive music listener. Right? I, I, I make music more than I listen to music. Yeah, so did, was there a period of time when you did listen to lots of music? I think there's probably two albums in my entire life that I've owned and listened to on repeat. Really? Yeah, ever. And one of them was Afro Man when I was about 13. <laughs> 
I got. I got. Uh, yeah, I got. Uh, he's got so many bangers as well. But um, I got like a, a pirate version of his CD from Bourne Market or Oakington Market. Oakington Market. Oakington Market. Shout Oakington Shout Market. out, old yeah. school. Uh, yeah. So and I played that on repeat, and then Eminem. And I can't remember what. It, uh, it was one with the red. With the red. Um, yeah, is that the Eminem show? No, I think it was after that. It was with the red. It was the uh, curtain, call. curtain call. It might have been that. I can't even remember what it is, but it's, it's the, the two trailer park one girls one go one round the yeah, outside. Yeah, it was yeah, that yeah. one. I it was that like album. That, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I played yeah. that on repeat. But other than that, never played an, an album on repeat ever. Interesting. A specific track, though, that really matters for me for hip hop and where it was probably peaking. So this is your old choice now? Old. Absolute track that, I, that for me is incredible would be Eminem, Drake, and Kanye forever. Okay. Who's that? Oh, it's, it basically, it's Drake's. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When when he's when he uh, it's it basically about Drake how he um, forever. How does it yeah. go? That is it. One is this year forever, man, ever, man, ain't never, man. Yeah, that is that true? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's basically Drake saying about it was when Drake first kind of blew up. And about how he he never got anything. He's done it all independently. Yeah, he was, was like one tune. of the first complete independent artists that went global. Yeah. and had no help. Yeah, and it's him about he's literally saying I did this. Yeah, but with he released no he released forever after he was on fucking Young Money. Yeah, but that didn't he? It was something. To he do was with he him was like, an actor before. Like he d- he did work his way up the ranks very very early from when he was like a. Kid. But he never got an signed, actor. and he went no. to hundreds and hundreds of people trying to get signed. But, yeah, never yeah, did. So good, he just went. Record. You're not going to do this, my fucking self. But it was uh, a bit after Eminem had lost his way a bit. But that track specifically. <laughs> Is definitely my Before old Kanye Kanye forever. Did. Yeah, and forever. You know, yeah, who was missing? Yeah, Before forever. Kanye you know, yeah, <laughs> yeah. It was when Kanye was still oh, good. It was still when Eminem right. had gone a bit <laughs> shit, <laughs> and when Drake it's was no, and his head was still oh, average size. Yeah, sure. Oh, yeah. Right. And then you're unheard. What's your unheard something for like us? That, something like that. We're gonna play that right now. No, we're not. <laughs> no, no, we can't. Yeah, we'll get sued. We just got a message back from Kanye. He says it's all right. I am God. Me and Kanye. I'm not a gay fish. I'm not a gay fish. Gay fish. Yeah, South Park. Oh, yeah. fuck, hey, no, it's fish sticks, hey, isn't it? Bitch, you tell me you ain't no hobby. Fish sticks. Yeah, <laughs> fish sticks. That's what it is. It makes you gay and fish. And you're unheard what? for us, please. <laughs> and my Silent unheard, I have yeah, to shout sorry, out sorry, uh, Tone Blanco with Tesla. Uh, it's a banging track for me. I don't me. think I've heard that either. Oh, no, nah, it's, on, it's on his... Th- yeah, play it. If you get a name on a Cobra, gotta shoot like Kobe. With some girls that know us, with a girl I don't know, getting cozy. Don't say a thing, you don't know me. I say solo, we the last rollo. Been 10 years and kept the same postcode. Smoke and meditate in my dojo. You always say too much. You're not a person I trust. You done worse than I bet. This ain't the first time, man, I trust. I trust. I trust too much, but not too much Cause anytime they get close to the boy I duck I play games with the girl I love But I don't love, and I don't feel Is this what you call keeping it real? I'm fearing the feel, steering the wheel Career in the field, sweet as I'm saying on the deal Wanted to change, engaging to learn Way too sick of making left turns Play with my bars and you get burned I hope there's been enough to observe Absurd is the term We thought things that could turn for the worst Repeating these words We thought they were prayers I hope they were prayers But they were far from it Speak to myself and I'm honest End up the grade in my harmonics so Yeah, on. sick So that was your new old and heard um, I'm happy to go nice. next My new old and heard this week is Is a bit of a shambles But a song that is new to me which actually, I don't actually know when this track came out. Oh, you can't uh, do that. No, 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 no it's no. got to be new music. It's I mean, called Elvis Presley. Yeah. <laughs> Elvis, Elvis, Elvis Presley. <laughs> I mean, I don't think it came out in the, in, in the last six months. But I'm going to go Coming for this. Coming out in 2050. It, it's new and it's a fucking tune. I always hear it on the TikToks and shit like that. That, uh, you know, about rolling down in the deep when you bring Like that tune, I've been listening to that I tune. thought that was Drake. I, and it's not Drake, it's new. I never heard yeah. it before. I've, I've, only, I've only started to hear it recently. I heard it on the radio like, and I was like, oh, that's Drake's new well, one. Like that's weird. And stuff. Not Drake. Not Drake. <laughs> not Drake. Lil Wayne. <laughs> so I'm going to go that. I'm gonna go with that for my for my new this week. Yeah, that's a tune. Uh, my old, I'm actually going to go for a tune by 50 Cent called I'm the Man. Oh, nice. It came out around about the time when, I think Pat. When I he was it relevant. Was, it was in Pat. Uh, no, it was in, I think it was around about the, when, the time when Power, the first season of Power. Game, oh, really? game, 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 money. I don't know nah, if I've nah, heard nah, it myself. Nah, nah, nah. Yeah, so that's 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 my old. 
And then Man Heard is a tune by A2 called Accolades. Who's A2? A2 is an incredible, incredible English rapper who's very massively, massively underrated. He was signed to Tiny Temper's Disturbing London record label. Right. Don't know what we're on the, wrong there. He's not on there anymore. I'm get, I don't know if he's... He's probably not independent, but he's not in that anymore. And he put out a tune called Accolades recently. It's pretty fucking sick. Lewis, it's right up your alley. You'd fucking love it. I'll, I'll listen to it on the way home, boys. There you go. Yeah, so yeah, that's my new old and heard. That actually wrapped up a lot sooner than right. I thought. <laughs> and then, Conmo. That's me. <laughs> Seems you're up next. My uh, my name's Connor. <laughs> yeah, I call I'm, him Conmo. I also got triple Hi, six, Connor. Steve. <laughs> I'm an alcoholic. <laughs> <laughs> is it AA me and right very switch? Far from that. Um, right, so my new is the new Bruno Mars and Anderson Pack song. It's not so new. It only came out last what? month. The I'm gonna leave the door open. Again. What the sex song? Yeah, Bruno, it's Bruno Mars and <laughs> sex I'm, I'm in sound. Heard. Bruno Mars and who? Bruno <laughs> Mars and Anderson Pack. Oh right, right, yeah. It's yeah, big, mate. It's such a sexy. Yes, song. I don't think I've heard it. Oh, it's so nice, man. Check it out. I've got it's two old tracks to listen stuff. on the way up. What you like? If you get the smoke. Anderson Pack is the haze. shit, man. He is so Anderson fucking Pack sick. Is sick. He is so yeah, sick. Yeah, seriously sick. fucking cool, man. I'll check that out. Yeah, overall, great. I'm really looking forward to their joint album they're doing. It's going to be amazing. It's called Silk Sonic. Leave the door open. Wicked. What an advert. <laughs> Shout wow. out. Not they owe you now, money. <laughs> 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 right, uh, then my old. Is, this one just randomly came up on my shuffle the other day. There's a song by the Kooks called Around Town. Have you ever heard it before? I haven't heard that one. Oh, my God. It's so good. This guy... Uh, Need someone to love in the middle of the day. Oh, it's so fucking oh, good. I recognise, I recognise oh, the melody. To it, man. And it, it reminds me, it must have been 2014 or something like that. I don't know when it came out. But that's not old. No, it's, no but that's, <laughs> that's old, isn't it? I'm I can't call it new, unfortunately. But so basically, Older. it doesn't feel like old, does it? 2014 doesn't feel that long. Yeah, well, seven years, man. But that's if you were married for that long, you'd be looking for a divorce. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> seven years true. doesn't sound longer in that term. Yeah, like exactly. That. If you're talking about it, not in uh, musical senses, but like things that came out in 2012, I mm. feel like are only three years ago or like two years ago. Doesn't feel like. Well, even know. the 90s feels like, you know, it's fucking, I don't know what, like 10 years ago. You'd yeah. still kind of like. They're you, still like, I heard a quote millennials. the other day that said people that reference the 90s now are like people in the 90s referencing the 60s. And I, I was like, no, that makes me not oh, feel right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. When, you, when you're in the 90s and yeah. they're going, oh, in the 60s, it was like that. If people now yeah. talk about the 90s, same difference. Yeah, mm. that's, that's... I'm not yeah. feeling that, boys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I've had a funny yeah. term. Yeah, that is true, though. You don't we're, think about it like 90s that. kids in here, aren't we? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's mad. So, um, yeah, anyway, that song, The Kooks. So, obviously, they're the most famous ones. They're naive and all that stuff. At what a tune that was. Yeah, yeah that, great. They've got what, some, that album, they say. smashed it. They've like got some great some bangers up. there, but this song was yeah. like se six, seven years after that, was, or maybe longer, uh, after they released that, so that album. And mm. it was like they came back with this album and I just thought, this is a banger. And then I hadn't heard it for ages and it came on my shuffle the other day and I thought, this is a really good song, so... Thought I'd choose it for my. There we go. The big uh, Spotify for that. Oh no, you're on Apple Music, aren't you? <laughs> uh, no, no, no. Are you are you using Spotify now? But Spotify, I, I just right. need to transfer all of my like <laughs> things that I don't have on Spotify into Spotify. Into Spotify. Yeah. Oh, okay. Like so, all of my old shit that I have on like CDs or put them in Dropbox yeah. and stuff. Yeah, I've got like a that. laptop for oh, my old shit. Oh, did you see this shit. week? You know we've got Spotify for artists. Or Spotify for artists. Have Apple are doing their own. Have you seen that? Yeah, I've got no, that. Really. Even from it, Android. That was oh, a ball like. Now? Yeah, yeah, you can get yeah, it on, on we, yeah, Android. We're going to have the stats from the Apple side. Oh, nice. The good yeah. thing about that as well is that you can see how many times people have shazammed your song. Yeah, oh, And that oh, makes I'm you really feel good. Yeah. Even cool. if you get like one in a week, you're like, someone heard that somewhere. And, and shazammed oh, yeah, that shit. Yeah, 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 they actually yeah. were like, I want to, like, what it's not like song? it just came up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Like, that, yeah so it, it tells you that. So. Yeah, wicked, man. Um, Interesting. So then my unheard is More Like Trees, Chili Water. Which is basically there's this band I've spoke spoke about them on the podcast before. They're real small. They're both it's uh, like a cajon, um, so it's a box drum. And this guy plays flamenco guitar, 
uh, and he and there's a double bass and they play like drum and bass and stuff like that and and sing but his voice is like I've trying to take a lot of inspiration from him in like the uh, like I don't know how I to know do it. I know he, I know he's what he's talking, I know what you're talking about what did you call it have you heard that Mo- Go- Mongolian band that have got massive yes. heavy metal now yes. yeah, yeah. The yeah. Who. that is the un- who, the who yeah the who? I think they are yeah the that throat, it's, you. it's the throat singing isn't it yeah what the hell is that that's unbelievable talent Imagine them like <laughs> cursing in a whale, like John, what, like what? <laughs> 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 that weird war John chart is mad. <laughs> that ain't you. my, that isn't my genre at all. But my mate Ashley uh, showed me that. And oh no, this hell? isn't like that at all. This is. Oh, like, this <laughs> is like, sorry to that band. <laughs> I, <don't know. laughs> I was like, how the fuck did we get here? <laughs> it was your impression. It just reminded no, me no, of a no, mo- no, Mongolian no. throat singer. <laughs> you mean my? No, yeah, no. he's got like husky voice, man. He's like. But but his music, their music is just so good. Like it's just proper unique, proper chill. But also you could dance to it. Do you know what I mean? Like and it's natural just sick as well. Hippie it... tunes, you know. But yeah. it, and he's just an amazing songwriter. His name's Josh Whitehouse. He's also an actor. actor. And uh, yeah, he's in like he's in a fair few films on Netflix. Don't show that. Sh- no, no, Netflix. Netflix. Fletnicks. 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 I want to go to Blockbuster. <laughs> Blockbuster shop, <laughs> Nigel. It's been shut for years. Let me. <laughs> anyway, that was it. So uh, there's a song called Chili Water. <laughs> if I could tell you to listen to any song, and I really mean this, this is anyone listening, you'll like this song. It's called Chili Water by um, More Like Trees. And there you go. Like That's the geez. end of New Old and Nerd. Sick. So now, back into back the into general the chat. Of the now sp- we can crack on. Okay, fine. Now we crack on. Now we can general chat. General so, chat. the question I was going to ask before, before Nigel wanted to go into New Old and Nerd, but that's fine. We've done now. Uh, it was a sh- successful segment. Uh, proper <laughs> chap. Yeah. Proper chaps. Proper, proper chat. chat. So we started as proper chaps, proper chat. Yeah, so now it's just proper chat. Yeah, it's called the Proper Chat Podcast. Okay, cool. Yeah, so it's... Uh, why the change in name? Why, why, why? So we have we have a, like a meme page called Proper Chap on Facebook, and it was, it was, it started as an offspring of that. So we were doing the Proper Chap meme page, does a podcast, and then... We, we just thought it kind of... They grew in different paths. So it, a meme page that does really offensive memes to a point that we were getting like uh, messages from Facebook like you're going to get shut down and we're going to delete your page if you keep posting it's inappropriate really? crap yeah, yeah yeah so we keep posting the inappropriate crap on there but we didn't then want to get our podcast shut down off the back of it so we just thought just rebrand the name just make it the proper chat podcast fair enough so yeah so we did it was kind of more out of we had to rather than we wanted to but and it still works man it's still got that ring to it and we, it's going thought, well. The moment you told me that name, I thought it was a great name. Yeah, right no. from the start. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it, I mean, it, the pro- proper chaps, proper chat is, but there's no reason we can't revisit that. We we changed it based on the fact that we, it was like we're going to delete your page. It was Facebook was saying we're going to shut your page down. Naughty boy. So like, yeah, right, we boy. need to quickly rebrand that to make sure. So this the, the, now there's no affiliation. The proper chat show. Yeah, the proper chat podcast. The proper chat podcast. It's still a yeah. good, still a great name. Yeah, right? man. It's this. It's just pub chat. Anyone that, that's interested, yeah. we just chat. And Loads also, see, seeing you guys as a pop, pop, podcast evolve has also been fucking sick because you started off literally same as us with just the yeah. audio. Now you're incorporating the video aspect. Yeah, into man. It. Yeah, so taking it's, that. It's, it's sick, man. You're t- taking the next step. We're just. Yeah. How did you work with Ashley? How did that start? Yeah. How did that? I've known Ashley for years and years and years and years. Grew up in in Long Stanton. We uh, we had a we both had. So we set up a business, boys. This chat is going to be too long yeah, no, for no. for this podcast. But we set up a proper a proper business that we got a lot of investment for. Um, that's still an active business, just with the wrong directors. So really, an online based business that's a sales platform. It's a really good idea. The right person got wind of it would be minted overnight. Um, but we were working doing that and realised that the directors that we were working with weren't as in, invested into it as we were. Yeah. So we said, well, we're not going to work double hard if you ain't going to work double hard. So we took a step back and like, what can we do? And he was working in sales, so we set up a podcast called Those Pesky Sales People, which I don't know if it's still available. It might not be available anymore, but we did probably 50, 60 episodes of that where it was just talking about sales um, from a customer, i.e. me's point of view, to him as a salesperson's point of view, and we just debunked stuff. And, and that's how you started doing podcasts. That's how we, and we were doing that in, a, in his car, 
quite often in St. Ives outside of a kebab shop because he'd pick me up, he'd go and grab a kebab and we would sit in there with two mic arms, laptop in the middle, if people were walking past, being loud, pause, wait for him to go past and then unpause and then... No way. I yeah, yeah, yeah. That was how it started. Right, so that's, that's, yeah, that's sick, man. That's yeah, sick. We, we wanted to do it. I'd, I'm a good talker. I'll talk. I, I yeah, enjoy yeah, yeah, talking. Definitely. So. Yeah, and you've, you've got actually got a fair amount of subscribers on like uh, yeah, you, YouTube. You've got like 300 and something subscribers. I up. think hopefully we're at 400 it's, now. Because the last time yeah, I checked, which was so hard, hard to get those numbers, man. Yeah, it is, mate. But the first, they say the first thousand is the hardest. And then and then 100,000 is your next, but apparently 100,000 is easier than your first thousand. Yeah, that's what they say. Well, yeah, your first really? thousand, your first thousand is literally trying to get something to great ca- people to, to, gain, t- to great gain traction. But we've got Patreon. Like, 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 you boys need to do that. Patreon. We need to get yeah. on Patreon. Uh, we, we, we've got a plan for that, but that's for yeah, we, it's just honestly, man. We we like what a lot of people I think don't don't realize about our, our setup. We haven't got a lot a lot of music like out there in the public eye, but a, lo- a lot of it's all you keep oh, it not, back. Not didn't hardship. You? It's not hard. Uh, uh, the biggest part of our grind, at, kind of uh, actually at the moment, is all the stuff behind the scenes, like the, the foundations to yeah, and getting it all organized. Start doing this. It does remind oh, me because you, you see how how stuff works. It's, it's more than well. Now we've got podcasts. We've got the music, but within the music, we've got three the, the physical in within it. There's a, there's a lot going on. Worse. It's just to get. That and running, saying running, that, running right, Trust, that's, yeah. that's in our part plan. That's hundred percent agree, man. And then going back to kind of my relevance on this episode, my best song comes out in October. It's already this coming October. It's already done. It's already finished vocally. It's already done, yeah. and it comes out in October. Why October? So that's a, because it's. So we worked on it hard, got to a point where we we're both happy, but the vibe of the song is not a coming out of lockdown summary song. So, but it, it's still got a little bit of the afterglow of that. Yeah. So we've decided October and now we're filling in the gaps with our tunes coming up to that. But that is without doubt my best song. Really? And it comes out in October. Can you, can you send sure, us man. it? Yeah, yeah, man. I can, yeah, I can yeah, literally yeah. show you that. So yeah, like, I'll ping you that and you can yeah, get a sneak peek. But that is, yeah. And that, and like you say, you you make all of this stuff, but it's got to be, you've got to have longevity. Yeah, yeah you've got to yeah, know yeah, where you're exactly. going. Yeah, you've we've got, got to trust plan, me, we've got a year plan. We've yeah. Got, like, and beyond. It's just like this year, we've got it planned down to a T. That's like, the hardest thing is the present, right? Because you've got your, you've got your future. The hardest thing is the, what do we do now? Like, yeah, right yes. this moment. See, you know we, had, we had that issue, like, literally, just before the tail end of last year, we were in that place, we're like, we're, we're kind of stuck, then we saw, a plan was set. Obviously, uh, over time, it's ch- 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 chopped and changed here and there. Mm. But <laughs> overall, sticking to a plan, even if things take longer than we expected them t- to happen. As long as happen, the plan's there, it's right? Still, it's still as happens. long as it's it still, still happens. sticks to, to that plan. And it's, say we wanted something to take two months and it takes four or five months. Regardless, it's still coming out within that year. Whereas, for example, in our Yoda, I didn't put anything out for a year. So to cut stuff like that out... Like your this, new release is coming out. Like this, this is where this this now plan is now in action. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and what, it's happening, right? I think what kind of changed for us is we we were kind of having that used to having that schedule of gigs, so we we're playing a lot of gigs, and then it kind of yeah. It, and then it, what it, do you do? Still, How do you feel the still, time? Yeah, that, well, that, it kind of it still gave us that inspiration and drive to kind of right. We need to get this finished because we want to fucking play it out. Yeah, you know? yeah. And so without playing gigs, it kind of <clears> set us back a little bit, and now yeah. we just had to regather and try to go the online route and re, like release a couple of songs. Yeah, um, that's going to be the opposite for me, boys, because I released my first track in lockdown. <coughs> yeah. When it gets to, because I assume the easiest way to to grow, correct me if I'm wrong, is get to gigs and get people to become your fans because yeah, you're playing yeah. to them face to face. Mm-hmm. I've not had that opportunity to do that. Yeah, yeah. So it's going to be like, right, now I've got this new this new thing that I need now need to sort of like that's, that's test the, the water thing, yeah, with. Well, the gigs, well, what, what, getting yeah, to the gigs. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm getting to perform live. To gigs, but for, but for you, the, the online stuff is honestly just as important. Oh yeah, it but is, that's all I've known. Just, just, that's the thing, that's exactly. That's the, what I think what he's saying is is that at the end of the day, he started this. Yeah. As in online. Pretty much March last yeah, year. Yeah, online, yeah, yeah, you yeah. You know, yeah. so it's been, he's not had a chance to play any gigs. So yeah. that's why it's sort of so, and that is the best. I think you'll, you'll keep a fan longer if you've met them. Yeah, like, I know that sounds agree. silly, but like if someone follows you on Instagram just because they've seen an advert, yeah. and then they sort of they, they fade into nowhere, sort of thing. If, but you, if you meet, meet someone, someone, they're fucking there acting like exactly. and you, you spoke to that, to person. that person. Yeah, you, yeah, know, you and literally they like, show them. And that literally, when it ha- for the first time it ever happened to us, someone counts us. That's that was like really good when we were at Doc Martens. It's yeah. like, oh my god, 
this is fucking weird. Yeah. yeah. You know, yeah. Like, yeah. I'm, I'm looking forward to that moment. It's coming, man. It's coming. Yeah, it's coming man. for you boys. It's coming for you. You, you guys are going to rock a ship. Your shit's sick. I appreciate that. Yeah, 100%, man. Right. Um, so, we yeah, ready. We've done that. So, um, yeah, we've actually just covered playing live gigs as well. Oh, yeah. Oh, one thing I wanted to say. That was a good segue. I'm Benny Segways. <laughs> yeah, one thing I wanted to say to you about is uh, Cambridge Evening News. Why do you always comment on all of their posts? Oh, bro. <laughs> <laughs> they do. I remember Connor Terry Bass the other day. I was like, "What?" Because they wind me up, man. <laughs> really? Do you know? Do you know where it stems? It's actually a bit of a dark place that that stems from. <laughs> really? Is that when Jake died the next day, right? I was walking walking down the road. My family hadn't even got back from Spain yet, and I walk outside past the the post office, and the Cambridge Evening News headline was "Local boy falls off moped and dies in Spain." Which is fucking wrong. Mm. Really? He didn't fall off a moped, he fell off a push bike. Fuck and so. obviously he went straight into the shop, right? This is my local shop where he lives a stone's throw from there and never put that out. And we know the shop owners and I go in and the, on the paper is his face and obviously lose my rag completely. Oh, really? you would, mate, you would. Went, yeah, 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 went yeah. absolutely mental and made sure that he chucked every single newspaper away and put the the like bulletin thing that they've put outside the shop in the bin and he did that obviously without didn't need to go mental out of him I could have just said it passively but yeah, yeah just said and, and from Fuck there it, it was like it's all bullshit everything they post it's all clickbait it's all bullshit really? so I try and belittle them <laughs> <Really? And> it, <laughs> often <laughs> Often it works in my favour, like no, the, the, I didn't even know it was that, that shit, fucking bro. deep. Yeah, man. it runs Jesus, deep, bro. Jesus Christ, the the things that you comment on there are so funny. Like they just, <laughs> just ridicule. Just you got any examples? Shit. I'm gonna try and find one. Right, talk amongst <laughs> I think I did see one the other day. Yeah, like, I just I'll try and ridicule them. Or e even then, the people that comment on it, I just, I just yeah, think, you fucking idiot. Facebook it just gets fucking and, and the thing is, boys, on right? So on my Facebook, the only links that I've got publicly are my music. Yeah. So the more people that I can get to my profile on Facebook by saying something that's funny or saying something that's a bit out there, they're going to, as you would, if someone leaves a funny comment on something on social media, you might check out their profile. Mm. If that person checks out my profile, the only yeah, thing that's yeah, coming yeah. up is my music. There you go, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so it's, there's that extra link It's engagement, as well. mate, it's engagement. Yeah, so if people can link to me, then that was more streams, isn't it? I'm yep. getting an extra 0.3 pence. They do say that, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but point three is point three pence. What do they point say, like? No, 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 no. No, well, some of them are good. It's like titles. Any titles one good. Pence. Like any yeah. like good or bad, it's still going to get you somewhere. All like, attention. It? There's no such thing as bad press. Yeah. That's what oh, Lewis, the press, problem, yeah, the problem yeah, is they're posting every hour on here. Oh yeah, so, I don't do all of them. No, it's just the ones so I can really pick I thought you out. did do pretty much, but I didn't know they posted this much. Oh, bro, and uh, most can you of tell it me a good driven. one. Yeah, yeah. What's a good one that you've done? Honestly, boys, I have no idea what a good one is. Not having one. It's really I'm actually going to bring it up in the future. Do you know what upsets me, Connor? Go on. That you. You never like my comments on there, so I know now I'm that I'm not going to like them because you're <laughs> outrageous. <laughs> I shouldn't be liking them. I shouldn't be supporting you. No. But, unfortunately, but I've got to support you now. Now, <laughs> now I know that you're reading <laughs> no, them. Yeah, now, I know. now I'll just be waiting. I'll yeah. just, literally, next one I post is just going to say... Connor. Con no, it's no, not. No, 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 no. He's saying next tag one. It's not just going to be the next one. It's going to be every single one from. This Isn't that right, Connor? Connor's, Connor's going to tag you. You disagree with this, don't you, Connor? <laughs> <laughs> That's what it's going to be. Oh my god! Oh, no, yeah, no, 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 I do I, like. Please don't. So, do that. To, it's <laughs> funny you bring that up, right? Because at Go a point, on. long before my music and I started taking it seriously, I set up just a page that was dedicated to um, what do they call it? Like. Um, not spam comments, but like dickhead comments, basically. It was called Old King Comment, yeah? So if I saw something... <laughs> if I, like I saw it, I like something... It, I like it. Yeah, I would literally go on onto that profile and comment on like a lad Bible link or something like that under Old King Comment and it would just be... <laughs> yeah. It would just be some bullshit, some joke, uh, something on that. They sound like fun to me, man. I did that, man. Old King Comment, like old dirty bastard. Yeah. Old, old King Comment. Yeah. It's about the same. <laughs> Oh baby, I like it raw. <laughs> that is, that is going to be a Joe's heart speed bite. Watch. Oh baby, I like it raw. <laughs> but yeah, that, that sums me up anyway, boys. So yeah, if anyone that. listening, that is the sort of person I am. Right. So so now we're going on to the end. We're going on to the uh, to the questions. So yeah, what we're going to do? I'm just going to give you like a little situation. Like I'll give you an example, or, um, and you're just going to try and. Um, think of a funny answer or it like it, it'd just be a random question like okay. songs you wouldn't hear at Christmas. 
I just think not hypothetical. Have you seen that show yeah. on Dave? <sighs> hypothetical. Yeah. yeah, I think I have. With James yeah. Acaster, it's it's Josh. Uh, yeah, Whittacombe, kind of like that. Oh, it's, yeah, yeah. You know it. Yeah. One on that. Josh Whittaker, that's it. So I don't think I'm going to be very good at this right now. <laughs> no. Um, okay. Right, well, I might incorporate okay. this into right. my podcast. You yeah, might have just give me a I'll little nugget of gold. I'll go. just give you an easy, funny one that I came up with. It's really, it's a bit weird. Awkward things to say whilst having a prostate exam. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what could you make? What, what, what could you say to make the doctor feel awkward? Oh. Do you like the chocolate and chocolate doctor? <laughs> chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind my erection. Why have you got one? <laughs> oh. Come on, Colin. Oh, you, oh. you can just say that. <laughs> what is it for a prostate exam? Yeah. Prostate exam. <laughs> you got your finger up your ass. Yeah, oh, I don't know. Oh, that's so hard. <laughs> you just, you just say, like, how's the wife? You, I was expecting you to be straight off the mark with this part. I don't know. Right? Is this, this really how I you check if I've got a cough? I was expecting you to be straight off the mark. <laughs> oh, further, yeah, further. No, it's, it's no, 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 no. Left a bit. There we what's, go. What's, so, so, I'm in a prostate exam. He's got your finger up it's your ass, yeah. man. Trap the cornhole. Doom, 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 doom. Lollipop, lollipop, oh, lollipop. No, come on. That's, that, that, that's what you do You just start singing lollipop Just oh, when he pops yeah, it yeah, out I see, I see I'm now yeah, slow yeah, to the yeah, See, I'm, that was not <laughs> right, funny Except at all. Next one um, uh, celeb- like Celebrities you'd like to see Have a death match Oh Between two against celebrities each other. Yeah, against each other it's, For me I know that, that already Lindsay Lohan against Tara Reid Because they're both <laughs> Spotlight Tara, <laughs> Tara Reid is the one That was from American Pie <laughs> all right. Fell off Fell off. So oh dear. Just How went on earth did you go up with that? Two celebrities I want to see in a death match, man. Yeah, man. <laughs> Why not? You ask the question, I'll tell you the answer, man. Oh, Paid to see that God. shit. Yeah, yeah really? too right. I don't think I've got anything for that. Uh, come on, man. You've got <laughs> to think of two people. Right, so, what was it again? Sorry. I've got a better two one. Two celebrities you'd like to see in a death match. Uh, so it's to the death. <laughs> oh, God. Is that David like Gaze. Weeman and Joe Exotic. Oh, you twat. Joe Exotic. What? what, what? what you no, I was going to say Wee Warwick man. Davis in the big show. Oh. <laughs> but we're both, that's but not going to last. You just kick him once and that's game over. <laughs> <laughs> one kick, game Sh- over. Choke not from Warwick. <laughs> Straight to hell. <laughs> 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 that's not good. That's not good. That David Guest and Yuri oh, Geller. God. That's who I'd go with. I don't know if, it, if you boys David know it. <laughs> you know, David Guest was that, like, Michael Jackson's friend with the weird eye. <laughs> <laughs> and then Yuri yeah, Geller, the guy who bends spoons. Yeah, imagine them having a little fight to the end. <laughs> with mind power. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Me. Or a couple of magicians. What about David Blaine against... Um, oh, God. Who's the well, other... What? David Blaine against... Who's the other one? The one that... The UK Darren one. Brown. Skinny one. Darren Brown. Got Darren Brown. No, no, no. What's oh, his uh, name? Uh, Dynamo. That's it. Oh, Dynamo. Oh, David Blaine versus Dynamo. That, that was a good one. That was a good yeah. one. Yeah. My money's on David Blaine. But what if I... Did he go? <laughs> this is, boy, I'm in my element now. You bust out these questions. This is proper chat. If okay, anyone, well, yeah. No, this is, yeah, this is your, this is your shit. This, this is why is I thought we'd put this sort of thing on there. Yeah, this, this is, this is my territory, boys. Yeah. All right. See, we pick our sections well for our guests. I know, guests. you've done well, man. Yeah, it's kind of a bit toned down, this one. Uh, <laughs> celebrities you wouldn't see at a football match. Slip. You wouldn't see. Wouldn't Rick see. Waller. Oh, he might play in goal, actually. Um, Slip. Well, yeah, maybe playing Slip football. Maybe playing football match. Match. You wouldn't see it at a football match. Michael Jackson. <laughs> oh, yeah, he's dead. <laughs> he's been dead a long time. He, he, has, he has now. Yeah, he's yeah. he dead dead. He ain't coming. Scotty, the guy from Man vs. Food. I don't, oh, no, he actually did play at a football match, that guy. Adam Adam. Oh, yeah, he did. Yeah, yeah he did. That. And yeah. he came on for like three minutes. Yeah. He trained yeah. for six months to get his fitness up. And then they put him on for three minutes and brought him back on. No, <laughs> I don't want biggest waste of six months just, of his life. Just oh. go and do another eating challenge, mate. You might <laughs> <Yeah>. as well. <laughs> Bad enough. Get baby back ribs in the fucking forecourt. <laughs> 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 Some spicy ribs. Oh, God. Uh, this is literally... <laughs> Anybody else? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, God. Right, okay. Have you got one more, yeah? Uh, the most interesting thing you could put in a microwave. <laughs> <laughs> oh... That would get a good reaction, maybe. I don't know. Oh, it's just metal. Has anyone ever put metal on? Yeah, bro. Apparently, yeah, bro. It's, it's, it's apparently. Tin foil was really bad. Yeah, pot noodle filling, with the lid on. Somebody with fillings. Really? Yeah, you can't even. Somebody that was, that was really what, a person. Oh, that was <laughs> fucking <laughs> hell. 
What? Jeffrey I'm Dahmer so over here. <laughs> well, a hamster. Hey. I need to go to confession and I don't even go to church <laughs> what anymore. What did you say? It, it, someone, with someone with feelings. Someone with feelings. Oh, just, <laughs> just, just the head. Someone, <laughs> it was something like something you wouldn't... What, what was the did question? Did I just say that? Yeah. <laughs> someone with feelings. Yeah, mate. Oh I need to, that's what I just said, man. You get when someone is, got yeah, me. You need to go and I'm going to microwave. hell. I'll keep Real all your quick. seats warm I'm, while I'm there. I'll tell you, hamster. Yeah. But there was a viral video. I'll never do that, by the way. We're going to get cancelled because of that. We've got animal rights that are going to come from... No, we don't condone that. I would never, ever put a hamster in a microwave again. I just said a human. <laughs> Not after last time. You lend up joking, on a Netflix I've never put documentary. A hamster in a microwave. Or a human. I wouldn't uh, put uh, a human in a microwave no. either. Especially if he's got fillings. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Bro, oh. imagine that exploding in your face. Just like, <laughs> but, oh, oh my yeah, God. Let's How did you do that? <laughs> I've, heard, I've, like, I've heard if you put a CD in the microwave, that's pretty interesting. It looks like lightning. I I'm can not. Could do it, that. That's the same it's as a pot noodle. Wanting to try. So, so, yeah, thing. because it's oh, it's tin foil, isn't it? And yeah, metal yeah. reacts badly to the grapes explode. Well, apparently, no, yeah. Well, go, yeah. No, there's a load. Get a spark. Yeah. Anything metal. Yeah. Just don't put a fork in there. No. Bad. Have you done that before? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're talking about that as if you've done that before. Or, yeah, mate. High as fuck, either. and you're just you're like trying to reheat something. You've left a plate with the fork on, and before you know it. Fire engine. That's around. what I do. <laughs> yeah. You know when you get like, like, don't know like what you know when you get like pies and they're in that yeah, tin yeah. foil sort of case. It is. I put literally it was a pie. I put it in the microwave to reheat. It was like chicken yeah, and mushrooms. Yeah. Well. I remember oh, it. It was when I lived at sixteen, yeah, Queen's clothes and over. I put this pie the in it, the microwave. The dish. Literally. I was like, what the fuck? What I'd never happened? seen. What I'd happened? literally never seen anything like it. Just mate, it literally just starts popping like mad. Literal sparks. Like it's like a to open it up. Yeah, well, well you, yeah, you try to. to stop, you definitely have to stop from it. From a distance. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that is sketch, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you check oh some, God. you look at some YouTube videos. Yeah, no, I think I've seen, I think, I think I've seen something. It's crazier before. than some of the strobe light things. That's the same as a um, washing machine, though, because washing well. machines are held down by a brick. So if you chuck something heavy into a washing machine... Like a brick. Yeah, I've like a brick. Yeah, yeah, like a brick that's heavier than the brick that's in it. They go fucking mental, yeah. man. It jumps really? all over I've only seen that in videos. I've not done it yeah, myself. Yeah, me too, me too. Yeah, they but just jump about. You could put like, an, really? like a quality tune on it. It looked like it's dancing. <laughs> Bouncing <laughs> about. Try it at home, people. <laughs> <laughs> Joking. <laughs> no, I've got... I've got a, 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 do you want to wrap up? Oh, I can do one more silly one. Uh, okay, go on, go on. One more. Let's finish it with one more. Best answers only. Yeah, go on. I'm um, going to have good to, If you woke up in Mike Tyson's house and you don't remember anything, how the fuck are you going to get out there without him knocking you clean out? <laughs> oh, God. Or kicking your fucking out. What, and you're just in his is house? That, is that too tough? That's quite tough, but I just take command of his fucking old but tigers. Man. Easy, yeah. easy. You just pretend to be the cleaner, didn't you? That's what I was just thinking. Put on, yeah, just put something. on an accent and make sure the room, I mean, if the room's fucked up, you just pretend that it was like that. Yeah. Hello, yeah. Mr. Tyson. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> I've come to clean up for yourself. <laughs> you can't. I, I, clean you remember me? I come last week. <laughs> me, it's a just dressed up Milena. in a gym suit Milena, with a saggy me? bum out. Sorry, I've gone too <laughs> proper. Oh, right, and on I'm that so, note, sorry, I'm sorry, think that, I think that would be a good, a good time to to wrap this I show. Think up. Everyone in this room has had a little too much of everything. Let's, yeah. let's, all, let's all give this an end. Thank been, you for letting me on, though. Yeah, now it's been awesome. Really appreciate it. Taylor made, aka Lewis Benton. I hold on, hold on. We were going to play Jake's song. Ah, actually, yeah, do boys. Varsity's version. Sign out. The Varsity's version. Well. Yeah, well, we'll use that. Yeah, we we'll use that at the end. We'll put. It, yeah, yeah, yeah. Saying, This is the end. Oh yeah, this is the end. So let's go <laughs> from. This is the from from that inappropriateness. <laughs> to yeah, we'll cut that out. We'll cut some of that. Out. Yeah, yeah. So, 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 no, basically, everyone. thank you very much, Lewis, for coming on, man. It's like fucking thank seriously you so appreciate. Much for it's me. good to finally have got you on and, and had yep. a chat. Got to play a little bit of a proper chat esque game. Yeah, yeah that's good. I really enjoyed coming, it. We're looking forward to coming back on the I'll show. I have you all on as a, a, as a trio, trio, thank trio. You. Yeah, Thanks, as a trio. Three of you. You're going to say threesome. But then, but then there's three of us. That's an orgy. We are not performing for you. But I love you boys on as an orgy. No, read. <laughs> oh God! Can't. Every oh, time, Lewis. Sorry. Every time. I've had three of these now. No, it's fine, is. mate. We've all we're all. We're well, re, shout re, out Desperados. Re, yeah. re Desperado. out. Re outro it, Kong, real quick, just because I don't want to make myself look like I've done. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we've got re outro that. Right, okay, okay, Lewis. So thank you very much for coming on, man. Cheers, Connor. It's been it's been a fucking <laughs> cheers, Connor. Shut <laughs> up. Yeah. We've got to do it again. Okay, okay, Lewis, man. Oh. Taylor, go, on. go with Taylor. <laughs> no, 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 it's got to be Lewis. Lewis. Okay, Lewis, man. Thank. 
<laughs> this is what we use for Joe's fucked it now. Right, honestly, man, it it's been fun. awesome having you on the show. It's been a long time coming. We can't wait to also come onto your fucking show. Thank, Thank you, bro. Well. It's chops. been a very insightful chat. Music wise, let's let's push that. Yeah, 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 yeah we're yeah, doing it next week, next Thursday. I know, boys. And yeah. also, like we said, we're gonna do earlier in the show. We're actually gonna play the Jake song. The varsity now. Our old, Just the close, uh, uh, close of the show. Oh, the formation of our friendship. <laughs> close of the show. <laughs> to close of the show. Yeah. Cheers, boys. That's Nashville. That's Loud, episode seven, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah nice one. Episode, and we are. Uh, info on episode eight coming soon. Please, please like our Facebook, follow our Instagram, subscribe to our YouTube, and also please check out Taylor Made. Yeah, He's yeah. He's gone to big things. Yeah, nice yeah. one. Thanks for listening, everyone. Nice one, people. Peace. Stay safe.